16-bit arcade graphics. You can't do this on Nintendo Genesis Duds. 16-bit sports action. You can't do this on Nintendo Genesis Duds. Hey everybody, welcome to another Rod Squad Retro Reviews. Uh, we've been spending some time with the Sega systems and the Sega company, and now we're going to be talking about Sega Genesis. came out in 1988 in Japan as the Mega Tribe, in 1989 in North America as the Genesis, and in 1990 everywhere else, went back to the Mega Tribe. We'll talk a little bit more about that, and let's give it a closer look. All right, buddy. Uh, like I like I just gave uh, you guys the intro. We're going to be talking about the Sega Genesis. Um, love Sega. How can you not love Sega? Uh, but then again, there are a lot of people out there who are haters, who are Nintendo fanboys. But here at Rock Squad Retro Reviews, we like them all. And uh, Genesis and Nintendo, both are great systems. Both are great companies, as far as I'm concerned. And um, you know, uh, you got to give it uh, do where it is. The the Genesis was actually the first system that knocked the Nintendo off its pedestal back in the late 80s and early 90s. Um, it was the one system that at one time, believe it or not, Christmas of 1991, outsold the Nintendo and Super Nintendo two to one. So it was actually the first time Nintendo was kind of like beaten at its at uh, a time that it was dominating or supposedly dominating the market. But the Sega company was really, really uh, intent on um, going head to head with the Nintendo company. And um, the Sega Genesis is the system that really, uh, you know, started up and gave us a lot of the memories that we have, us retro guys have right now. Anyway, this is the Model 2 that I'm showing you right now. The actual one that came out in, in 1980, in 1989 here in North America was this one, was the actual first one. This is called the Model 1. Uh, this one has seen better days. This one I've had forever. This is my, actually my original was the one that I had connected to my very first Sega CD. We talked about the Sega CD in a previous video, but this is the one that I had connected to it at the time. Here goes the little part right here that I'm missing the, the plastic piece that I used to have for it. But this is actually the very first one that had 16 bit written on it, the big Sega Genesis. Uh, Monica was on the front, the logo, high definition graphic games, had the on and off switch right here, had a volume control where you can connect your headphones and also connect a wire to your stereo right here, had a reset button. So this is the actual first one and in the back of it, uh, you would see where the different wires, you had an S, S, P, S, S uh, cable, I believe that was for this right here. But um, also now they came out with the ones with, uh, at the time they came out the ones with the AV, the powers right here and such. And anyway, this is the Model 1. This one is the Model 2. This one seems to be the most, uh, the one that has the most, uh, um, uh, the most confident one. Even though it doesn't have the, the, uh, the volume set and stuff like that. This is the one that, to me, looks like more like a Darth Vader type mask. But this is the Model 2. Um... It says Genesis right there, as you can see. Sega had the Sonic 2 in it right now. But anyway, this had the start button right here, had the reset button right here. Um, you, you still connect this one also to the Sega CD. Um, in the back, it had the same, uh, uh, the S cable and the power, the power buttons in the back and stuff like that. But this is the Sega Genesis Model 2. Uh, but the Sega Genesis itself was first released in 1988 in Japan under the moniker of the Mega Drive. Now the reason it was called, they changed the name here in, the, in North America is because apparently um, the name Mega, for some reason or another, was licensed to other properties uh, like a Megatron or something of that nature. So Sega, to avoid any issues at the time, uh, just renamed it the Genesis, which is actually the the founder, the, the, the one that really, really took it to uh, the level that uh, put it on par with the Nintendo in the late 80s and early 90s. So. Here we talk about the Sega Genesis um, short video. I just want to give a little love to it, and we're gonna go ahead and do a uh, show you guys some gameplay and some of the uh, popular games. Hope you guys enjoy. Thank you.
trying to look over the competition. It, it goes Sonic saying, what, what do you want, little man? What do you want, little plumber man? Why don't you take a hike, little plumber man? Uh, Mario was smart and got away. Sega wins. Kicks butt. Sega wins.